Welcome back to Spokane. 139 pounds on the mat right now in the blue. Terry Kolot with the first point of the matchup. Hey everyone, Terry Kolot here. 2000 Olympian, two-time NCAA champion, two-time world medalist. My sweep single, literally I developed into a combo. One, I, have, I had a rule for my setup. There's multiple ways to get into a sweep single, but I, I like to set the tone in the matches. Like I wanted to put hands on the guy from the time we shook hands. I wanted to get ready, I wanted to get going, and I wanted to control the pace. Um, so I always have this rule that I use when I'm coaching now, that the old saying, keep it simple, stupid. My, I, I love the cross-hand setup, and it was literally just a hit. Just hit and go. And so we'll talk about the hit and go and my swing single. And then in freestyle, you always want to develop your transitions and take down. Take down to a turn. The best guys have takedowns to a turn. And based on how you move and attack, there's going to be certain elements that, that happen. He's going to fall a certain way because of how you hit a move, how you hit a shot. And for, for me, my single, if I got a guy to a foot, I'd get him to bell out. So then I learned to transition either into my crotch lift or kind of a variation of a mini bow and arrow into a crotch lift. But here it is, and, and hopefully you enjoy it. So to talk about my setup, again, very simple. My opponents would come out, and you know, if I'm fired up and ready to go, we might shake hands, right? And that whistle would blow. And you know, I wanted to set the tone. A lot of guys, boom, want to come here, right? They want to grab you. For me, it was about creating an opening and on this one. And I could get my single to open up. So all I'm doing is coming with my free hand, right? I got my shooting hand ready to go. And all I like to do is a big, heavy hit, right? And that hit might be bang here. What that does is it opens that position. This guy becomes afraid of an attack here, and it causes that quick step a lot of times. So when I would hit my opponents and start to transition that move, they have to follow me. So when I hit and they follow, now my level change would happen and my step specifically would go to the outside of my sand. Welcome back to Spokane, 139 pounds on the mat right So I like now. to talk about my single leg. Um, I don't lock my hands on my single leg. A lot of people always teach shot and lock your single. But I found it was better for me to be mobile, and especially in freestyle. My rule in freestyle, and this is something I learned from John Smith, he said, Kerry, my only goal is to get past the guy's defenses, his head and his hands. If I got under someone, I knew I was gonna take him down. So when he said that to me, I started thinking the same way. If I can get past the guy's head and hands, I just wanted to get under a guy. But then I also found, when thinking like that, if I had my hands on the mat, I was more mobile and quicker. When I hit my single, I don't lock, so if I go from that hit, when I drop, I would go with my, my palm on the mat. I, I felt like it made me quicker. And then specifically, I would use that hand to help me push and corner, and I'm stepping outside. So it was a hit, drop, push. And now I've got some balance on the mat before I start blowing up into him and transitioning into that, that high leg finish here. So I, I've, I've swept, I brought it up and it's trapped. I was a short guy for my weight class, so I developed a little trick that helped me, I feel like. I didn't just hold here my free hand, and you're gonna see the motion in his leg. I literally would bring it through and punch it to the sky. And if I just focus on the arm and I don't do anything with my body weight, you're gonna see his foot move from here to, he's already starting to go. Then, if I add, raising to my toes, and I add my free leg coming in. I didn't sit here and kick and kick because everybody I wrestled was always taller than me, so I couldn't always reach. All My only goal was to lift that knee and then kind of block that foot so Mason can't get it stabilized underneath him. So it's gonna be right here, it's not a kick, it's a block. So I lift and up. Then body weight, and I'm putting pressure on that spine. 